Hello everybody, welcome back to this new episode of Textile with Alberto. Today we're going to talk about polyamide. Last week one of my friends was ordering a couple of socks on Amazon and he saw these polyamide fibers and he was like, oh my god Alberto, what is polyamide? Relax, it's nylon, let's see that together. Hey guys, I'm Alberto and I'm a textile technician that lives and works in Italy. I have decided to make this YouTube channel to share all my textile and leather notes with you, but without further ado, let's see, as usual, the definition of polyamide. As you can see from the European textile regulation, polyamide and nylon is basically the same thing, guys. It's a fiber formed from synthetic linear macromolecules having in the chain recurring amide linkages, of which at least 85% are joined to aliphatic and cycloaliphatic units. Uh... Yeah, so as for polyester, I think you didn't understand anything, right? Me too, don't worry. All you have to know is that there are two types of polyamide, the aliphatic polyamides and the aromatic polyamides. The first one is is nylon. The second one we classify them as aramid fibers and they are destined for other applications, for example bulletproofs and fire resistant textile fibers that also firefighters use. I will surely talk about aramid fibers, Kevlar and so on in another video, maybe in two or three months in the future. Also all you have to know is that polyamide is a carbon based fiber and it's a synthetic fiber. Why it's a synthetic fiber? Because in nature it doesn't exist, so as for polyester we put polyamide over here. Also if we have a quick look at the microscope we can see that as for polyester polyamide is flawless, is perfect because it's synthetic. Polyamide was invented in 1938 by a DuPont chemist. In a couple of months nylon was advertised and produced to create tights and women's stockings because of its tear resistant and elongation. Polyamides replace silk and cotton for hosiery and tights applications. Then it was used also in during the Second World War for parachute making. Most of the times we can see that polyamide in textiles is blended with elastan to give better elasticity, especially for women's stockings. By the 50s nylon was everywhere, textile, upholstery, we will see that together in the applications. Before the applications let's see very very quickly all the producers all over the world. As you can see from the picture, polyamide is created basically everywhere, especially in the US, Europe, we have for example Italy, Germany and North Europe, and then we have of course China, India and something in Taiwan, South Korea, Indonesia and Japan. Most of the sold and produced nylon is nylon 6 and nylon 66. What are nylon 6 and nylon 66? Let's see that together in the production of nylon. As for PET, I have decided to divide this video in two steps. The first one is the creation of the master chips and the second one is the extrusion of the master chips. I don't want to talk so much about the production of nylon guys, I will leave my links below talking about polyester because it's created the same way, only the source materials are different, let's see together. For the creation of nylon you use adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine forming nylon 66. It's been estimated that around 60% of the total production of adipic acid is used mainly for nylon production. So once the chemical plant, the chemical company creates the master chips, you actually take the master chips to the spinning mill, you extrude them and as for PET, as a kind of spaghetti, you roll up together all the plies in a single yarn and you form the yarn of polyamide. If you are interested as me in the production of polyamide, I'll suggest you the video below about Nile Red that has created some polyamide in the laboratory. Anyway, there are a number of different polyamides out there. There is polyamide 6 and polyamide 66, which are the most used polyamide in the world. Then we have polyamide 11, used for example for filters applications. Then we have polyamide 46, polyamide 10, polyamide 12, and so on. The number actually is linked to the number of carbon atoms that you are used as reagents. For example, if I have two reagents that have six atoms of carbons and six atoms of carbons, the nylon is 6-6. Six, six. If only the one of them it has six atoms of carbon, it will be nylon 6. Enough with the production, let's see together the applications of polyamide. As for polyester, polyamide is used basically everywhere, guys. You can see, for example, polyamide in tights and hosiery and women's stockings. It's used also for swimsuits, clothing, technical textiles, sales, ripstop fabrics, 
I will actually talk about ripstop fabrics maybe in a couple of months because it's a very very good thing guys it's a type of fabric that is used for example for paragliding parachuting and also hot air balloons productions because it's very very mechanical resistance and tear resistant polyamide is also used for fishing nets actually there is a company in italy that recycle all the fishing nets to recover to recreate polyamide yarns anyway nylon is also used for toothbrushes and filters fun fact about nylon nylon is also used for wool plugs because of their tear resistant and their mechanical resistant there are also other applications of polyamide but i cannot mention everything guys so let's see together all the pros and cons of polyamide first polyamide is very well known because of its tenacity and tear resistance generally polyamide is stronger than normal polyester but there are some chemically transformed polyester that are stronger than polyamide so let's say that normally polyamide is stronger than polyester but it's not always like this guys polyamide is also abrasion resistant and has very very good dimensional stability as for polyester basically all the synthetic fibers have very good dimensional stability it's not always like this but most of the cases it is like this two other facts that we have to consider is that polyamide is a carbon based fiber that is synthetic so we have no deforestation in the manufacturing of polyamide and we have no using of the pesticides a curiosity about polyamide is that actually it absorbs much water than polyester even though it's synthetic and unfortunately polyamide also is not as uv resistant as polyester that's why polyamide is not used as polyester for awnings or other applications and the third fact about polyamide it's a carbon based fiber so it's synthetic and it's not environmental friendly guys so it takes quite a long to decompose anyway that's it for today guys i hope you have enjoyed the video and enjoyed the content of this video if you have any kind of questions i'm at disposal naturally i've actually finished my textile saga so yeah i would like to talk also about linen so flax basically i would like also to talk about armid fibers and other fibers because according to the european regulation there are 50 recognized fibers using the textiles and i would like to talk about all of them let's see that for now we have finished the fiber saga i will talk about textile curiosities in the next videos Probably in the next video I will talk about organic cotton or non-wovens. Anyway, thank you very much for the attention and as usual, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.